So today I want to show you a simple way to dodge and burn without uh, ruining the original image. And so this is a photo that was shot. Um, this is the way it was shot. And it was shot with a couple of lights. One light was behind the model. As you can see, there's um, an orange kind of glow behind her that's actually from a gelled strobe that was placed right behind the curtains, maybe around a couple meters away. And then over here on the right side of the camera, there is a soft box with another strobe. And um, I just shot it that way. Now what I want to show you in this photo is a couple things. One is an easy way to dodge and burn. And the other one is that using this technique you can actually make your photo look more dramatic. So let's start. To dodge and burn easily you go to uh, Photoshop menu edit and then you choose fill right here. And this window will come up. It says 50% uh, gray and all of these other things on the menu. You choose 50% gray mode normal and opacity 100% and then you just click OK. So as you can see that 50% gray has become a layer. What we want to do is we want to go over to our layer menu and we're going to pick soft light. So now I've got a soft light um, blending mode and that means that I'm able to paint directly on the picture some shadows and highlights. So first I'm going to go over to the brush tool and picking my shadows, I'm going to change the opacity of my brush to about 15% and make sure that my brush is very soft, right? Pick a smaller brush right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint over the parts that I want to be a bit dark so here I am painting over that spot I want sort of a vignette feel to the sides of the photo so I just keep painting there one of the effects of this kind of painting also is that just like the blending mode multiply you can actually make your colors pop out and saturate a little bit more if you paint over them with the black paintbrush. So here you can see that I want to remove a little bit of these highlights on the skirt and maybe accentuate the shadows. Some highlights over here on this part of the wall. And then after I do the shadows, I'm just going to click over and switch to the white so I can paint the highlights. Let's zoom in a little bit to the photo. And here I'm just going to accentuate the natural highlights from the lighting by painting over. those parts. I want more detail on the hair so I'm just sort of painting the light onto the hair. Okay. Make the brush a little bit bigger and let's paint over this part. And do the arm and the hand. I want to accentuate this part so we can see her arm inside the cloth. We also, I also want to accentuate the folds of the cloth by painting over the highlights. So if we click our gray copy, we can see that there is a change. 
but it's very slight. And there you have it. That's the easy way to make a dramatic photo by painting in the light.